Melt flow index or MFI also refers to as the melt flow rate that is MFR which is the measure of ability of a melted polymers to flow under a particular pressure. My name is Jigdish Atore and in this video we will discuss about one of the most frequently used term in a polymer that is MFI or MFR which is the measure of the ease of flow of melted plastics and it represents a typical index for a quality control of a thermoplastics. Do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from the design gigs. Without any further delay, let's deep dive into the topic. On polymer technical data sheet, you might have seen these melt volume rate or melt flow index MFI values mentioned with some temperature and weight value. So what is this melt flow index or MFI? The melt flow is a measure of ease of flow of a melt of a thermoplastic polymer and it is defined as the weight of a polymer in grams flowing in a 10 minutes through a die of specified diameter and length by a given weight at a given temperature or it is defined as the measurement of a rate of extrusion of a molten resin through a die of a specified length and diameter under prescribed conditions of a temperature and pressure in 10 minutes and the unit of MFI is gram per 10 minutes. Basically the MFI is the measure of the ability of a melted polymers to flow under a particular pressure and it is one of the most frequently used tests to provide a quick index of a process ability and the product quality control. The melt flow index tester help us to evaluate the flow properties of a molten plastic as a MFI acts as an indicator of the flowability of a thermoplastic materials. And there are several many researchers that established a relationship of a melt flow index with the several mechanical, chemical and thermal properties such as yield stress and the viscosity. So this test setup of a melt flow index tester which is also called as an extrusion plastomer and the test is performed according to the ASTM D1238 standard or ISO 1133. This ISO 1133 is for the determination of the melt mass flow rate and the melt volume flow rate of a thermoplastics. These two standards are used worldwide for a MFI testing. A small amount of polymer around 4 to 7 gram is taken in the apparatus. And a die with an opening of a typically 2 mm diameter is inserted into the polymer apparatus or this MFI tester apparatus. Now the material is packed properly inside the barrel to avoid the formation of a air pocket. Then a piston is introduced which acts as a medium that causes the extrusion of a molten polymers. Then the sample is preheated for a specified amount of time and a defined temperature according to the materials. And generally the sample is heated above its melting temperature or the softening temperature. The standard temperature is 190 degrees Celsius. And after preheating the sample, a specified weight is introduced onto the piston. The standard weight uh, are used are like 2.16 kg and 5 kg. But different weights can be used based on the material such as like we can use the weight of 0 0.3 to 5 kg. 1.2 kg, 2.16 kg, 3.8 kg, 5.0 kg, then 10 kg or 12.5 kg and 21.6 kg. As you can see here in the technical data sheets, for 200 degrees Celsius, the 5 kg weight is used. For 220 degrees Celsius, 10 kg weight is used. And for 230 degrees Celsius, 3.8 kg weight is used. So the weight exerts a force on the molten polymer and it immediately starts flowing through the die. Then this sample is collected after the desired period of time and it weighs. So the MFI is expressed in a gram of polymers per 10 minute of duration of the test. Now we can calculate this MFI from the test results with a formula as flow rate is equal to M upon T into 600 where M is the mass of a extruded material, T is the time of a piston for a length in second and 600 is the conversion factor to convert it in second and the unit of the flow rate is gram per 10 minutes. Now the capillary diameter of this setup is 2 mm with some tolerance value and the length is 8 mm. So from this formula we can calculate the flow rate. Now here are some values of the melt flow index of a, some materials. 
the temperature mentioned is in degree celsius and load or you can say the weight is in kg for abs the temperature is 200 degree celsius and 230 degree celsius so you can observe the same from this technical data sheet so the reading is mentioned at a temperature and a load like 200 degree celsius 5 kg load 220 degree celsius 10 kg load and 230 degree celsius 3.8 kg load but why MFI is important or why does it matter or what is the significance of this MFI? So the MFI is useful for the quality control test on the thermoplastic materials. The reported belt index values help us to distinguish between the different grades of polymers and it can also be useful for the other purposes like studying the relative thermal effect with respect to the barrel resistance time on the plastics. And it will give the knowledge about or the idea about the materials that through which machine it will be processed and based on the flow rate behavior. The melt flow index is related to the viscosity of the flow rate. Based on MFI, we can select the right material as per the function and application requirement. So the high MFI indicates high flow rate and low viscosity. Similarly, the low MFI indicates the low flow rate and high viscosity. So in short, the MFI is valuable test for quality assurance and it is used to for the great differentiation of a materials or the identification of a raw materials. And there are some factors which can influence the MFI reading or MFI values like reheat time or the moisture content or the packing and volume of a sample. Now in this, the, if the cylinder is not preheated for a specified length of a time, so this will cause uh, the flow rate to vary considerably and if it contains uh, the moisture in the material especially a uh, high pigmented one then it can cause the bubbles to appear in the extruded the weight of the extruded significantly influenced by the presence of a moisture content the sample resin in the cylinder must be packed properly by pushing the rod with the substantial force to allow the air entrapped between the resin's palace to escape Improper packing causes the variation in the test results also. And any change in the sample volume that causes the heat input from the cylinder to the material significantly. So the volume of the sample in the cylinder must be kept constant. So this is all about the melt flow index. So whenever you are selecting or screening the material for a good processability and for good quality product, then focus on the MFI value.